2011 Valero Alamo Bowl as part of ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. Tonight from San Antonio at the Alamo Dome, Baylor shoots for its first bowl win since 1992, Washington trying to win a bowl game for the second straight year. Antoine Goodley and Levi Norwood are back to receive the Eric Folk kickoff. It'll be Norwood, about two yards deep, and he will not make it to the 20, planted at the 15-yard line. About eight yards. And now Griffin on the rollout being chased from behind, and you see the arm strength as he completes it to Tevin Reese at the 32-yard line. Type speed of place. There, Griffin on third down, dumps it off, and it'll be a first down as Monk takes it out near midfield for a 15-yard The three deep look. And Griffin again to the sideline. It's Kendall Wright. School record 101 catches. <laughs> On third and nine gets hit and delivers a strike. Short of the first down though is Samson by about two yards. Yeah, Washington's not even lined up, Dave. And Galloway gets the first down because they weren't lined up. Just runs right through off the ball. Hold the defensive coordinator. Five first downs already on this drive. And here's Wright into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. Action out of him in that first drive. And as the extra point is good, everybody talking about Robert Volk. And Price on first down. And has a completion to a wide open Devin Aguilar. Stiff arming his way inside the 30 and out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Washington on third down and two, and they hand it to Polk, who is the first man through. He's got the first down and a gain of five. They go empty as they motion Polk out of the backfield. Price looking that way. Now he'll run, and he'll score. Touchdown, Washington. Boy, two defenders in the middle of the field moved to their people to clear trust in his line and see the hole hitting it. And the point after by full. And here comes a pitch by Wright to Salubi, who's got the first down to the wash. G3 told us yesterday a talk with his parents and Art Browse, the head coach, after this game and make a decision on the pros as he has a completion right at the first down mark. Here. And Griffin handing it off to Salubi, and Griffin out there helping his running back, throwing a block as Salubi scores. Touchdown, Baylor. Second touchdown run for Salubi, and the point after makes it 14-7, Bear. Explosive. Price with time, and a double coverage, incomplete. Should have been picked off by Mike Hill. It's downfield passing. And another first down catch for Tevin Reese, wrestled down by Parker. That program. Court Dennison, the injured man left, so to Togi, the linebacker is, is Ganaway getting the first down inside. You gotta have the Jesses and the Joes. Here's Ganaway, and he's right. Fourth down and one. Quarterback sneak, and it looked like Griffin had it initially. Griffin, 12 of 14, 118 yards passing in trouble here. And doesn't go down. Griffin inside the 10. Heisman, touchdown. Wow, Robert Griffin the third. Touchdown. This season for Robert Griffin the third and the point after makes it tw They're two for three on third down. They need four yards here. Price with time and has a completion. Jermaine Curse to the third down and nine. And Price has a catch inside the 40-yard line. And it's a run play, Paul. Big hole down all the way to the and Price looking to throw everybody covered and now Price going end zone touchdown 
James Johnson. How about Price keeping the play alive there? Similar to Jake Locker, right, in his athletic ability. That's who Price replaced as the one Robert Griffin the third. Was accounted for almost 200 yards of total offense already. In trouble here is on hit. Griffin gets out of there, away from one man, finally goes down, sacked at the 33-yard line. Price off play action going downfield, and it's pulled in. Here the 50-yard line by Callier. All four guys slanting to the tight end. They go empty, and the throw underneath to the tight end, Safarian Jenkins, a pass, also a rushing score. He'll throw here on first down, and wide open inside the 20-yard line is Curse. They finally catch up to him and drag him down at the six. It'll be third down and goal at the one. Play action, roll out, and a dump off. Diving into the end zone is Aguilar for the touchdown. He also has a touchdown run. And we're tied after the PAT by Falk. Back to the Huskies, answering the challenges. Drive after drive. Here's Salubi out of the backfield with blockers in front. And Salubi stepped up. It's rare to see five receivers in the game at one time, much less all next to each other. As Griffin is sacked, and the ball comes out. It's recovered by Timo of Washington. Oh, a turnover by RG3, and the Huskies take. From the Baylor 31, Price off play action, and a diving catch made inside the 20-yard line by Safarian. Price stepping up on the move, finds a running lane. Great ball fake, and Price dies for the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Robert Griffin, the oh, what a ball fake, too. And the extra point makes it 28-21. 90 seconds and two timeouts for Robert Griffin, the third, to try to take Baylor down and tie the game again before the half. And into Washington territory with one play as Reese on seven. They led 21-7. After one quarter, Griffin in trouble again, gets away from Hudson. And a diving catch made by Terrence Williams. Oh, new left tackle in, Dave. Richardson's out. Griffin with time, and it's broken up. And Washington will take over on downs with three times. And, and now you get Washington the ball near midfield with a ton of time, and the Husky offense on a roll. Here's Polk on the run. Big running lane. Polk inside the 30. He might take it to the house. He will. Touchdown, Washington. And of course, now you second-guess that decision to go for it on fourth down instead of trying to punt and pin Washington deep. He's over 100 yards this half, and he's about 100 yards away from the school record movement route. Quick throw to the sidelines. Williams trying to get yardage and then get out of bounds, and he does with two seconds remaining. So three more points on the scoreboard. And it's good. Second down and 10 for the Huskies. There's a blitz. And Price gets out of trouble. And now throws deep downfield and got a man. Curse on the run inside the 20-yard line. He'll score. Touchdown, Washington. Keith Price with his third touchdown. Here in a minute. Extra point makes it 42 to 24, Washington. And Griffin a throw. Kendall Wright, that play worked a lot at the end of the first half. They go to take the interference to post the touchdown. Here's a quick throw out of the flat to Reese. And Michael Vick's career as a uh, college quarterback. He's a better Michael Vick at this stage. Terrence Williams about a yard short. Griffin followed. He's graduated. Eligible to play one more year. That's the third time they've had trouble with the snap and trouble with the pitch, but Salou be able to get in anyway. Touchdown, Baylor. It's not a worry for them, because they know they can get it back in a hurry. 
Extra point makes it 42-31. Punctuation. They have to get to the 45. Price on the roll out. will throw it right at the sticks, but it's off target and complete. Intended to see him in your pitcher. And RG3 moving to his left. Now going to fire deep. In the double coverage. Broken up. Incomplete. Intended for Kendall Wright. Griffin on third and 13. And the pass out of bounds. Fourth. Williams backing up. Fields it at his 38-yard line. He's in the Baylor territory. Williams breaks a tackle. Inside the 20. All the way to the 17-yard line. Spencer Roth, the punter. Polk will get another carry. And he fumbled the ball. Baylor's got it at the 11 yard line. Huskies turn it over in the red zone. Nick Johnson stripped it, got off a block, forced a fumble. And the Bears were. Team carry. Robert Griffin, the third. Will hand it off to Gannaway. A huge hole. Is on. Get away inside the 40. He'll take it 89 yards. Touchdown, Baylor. Score points now. And the jump pass. Mank with the touchdown. Let's see how Pope responds on his next touch. He won't get it here. Play action for Price, and he's going to go deep for Carson. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and Price has got it. Trying to fight off a defender. He's finally tackled inside the 15-yard line by Morton. Price to the air again, to the end zone. Touchdown. Devin Aguilar, his second touchdown of the ball game. Washington, that was an 11 season. You can't that just praise the offense, Chris. The extra point. And Washington's got 49 midway through the ball back to him for about a minus two net. They're taking the play clock down to 10. That's unusual for them. As RG3, a strike down the middle of the field to Norwood. And they're trying to strip the ball. Norwood able to hang on to it to this tight spiral. 17 play of 10 yards or more. Salobi on the run. Inside the 15. Inside the 5. And Salobi is in touchdown his third of the game we've seen him under center maybe three plays yeah. so far and they're in as Gannaway takes the handoff and gets it across touchdown Baylor second for third and it's 49 46 Washington at this rate, six minutes to go in the third. And here's Polk holding on to the ball tight. We have all the coaching changes that occurred in the Pac-12 and all offensive-minded guys with the exception of Coach Moore. Wow, wide open in the middle of the field is James Johnson. And he's finally brought down at the 27-yard line. On a one, they get the playoff. And Price going to go deep and incomplete. Either curse for Washington in the game. And he missed it. Wide to the left. Dozens. He'll hand it off here to Reese. Looking for a running lane. He finds it. And Reese. Inside the 30. Defender trying to get the angle. And finally, Reese pushed out of bounds inside the five. Gannaway straight ahead, touchdown Baylor, and the Bears are back on top. Third. 53 since 1980. They've got a four-point lead as we start the fourth, and Price on third and four. Got a completion to curse. Randolph, just to how deep he is. Seven yards back. Gives him room to get the ball to make a decision. And they'll hand it off to Polk, and he's got the first down to the fourth. 
First out of the 45. And they'll think at this time. Price has a wide open man inside the 20 yard line. Aguilar finally twirled to the ground at the. Price facing pressure. Moving to his right, gets a block. And he'll take off. He'll come up just short. No, he got in. Touchdown. How did he get the ball across? Wow. Third rushing touchdown. Since they won a national championship back in 1991 with Damon Hewitt as the quarterback. He's now the radio analyst. The great dual threat quarterbacks. Steve Young for the San Francisco 49ers. And, and the deep pass down the sideline. And it's caught inside the 25-yard line at the 20. For Baylor just to run this offense. Here's Gataway inside the five. Stacked up at the four. It'll be plays. First and goal. Gataway, his fourth touchdown of the night. Baylor back on top. By Robert Griffin the third to Kendall Wright. Point after by Jones. And it's a four-point Baylor lead as the Bears have hit. They get it to the line quickly. Snap the ball. the marker and, and he's in an empty set here on second and ten finds his tight end Safarian Jenkins who is going there he goes it's play action and Price going to his tight end and Safarian Jenkins with an incredible grab he had a Safarian Jenkins Ten play the drive Price and an incomplete pass intended for Jake Frick on fourth down in this game three of three Price to pass. Pressure coming. Price hit. And good hurt. Baylor takes over on downs. Better blitz. Sell out. Ganaway first down and roll. Exclamation point. Touchdown, Baylor. yards this year and he now has 21 rushing touchdowns on the season and Baylor has scored 60 golf coverage good hits sure. yeah, he's had a great day one of the other comes flying in there and takes it and he's out near the 40 yard line and he didn't go down and then the ball came out he lost the football Danny Shelton a defensive tackle rushed in there grabbed the ball then wouldn't go down and lost the ball Baylor saying they got it. And they do. McCall. Griffin waiting to try to get it under 40 seconds before he takes a knee so they don't have to snap it on fourth down. And they won't. That's it. Live coverage of the trophy ceremony down on the field. Log on to ESPN3 coming up immediately following the game. Coming up next on ESPN at Sports Center. Baylor gets its 10th win. That ties a school record. And they could finish in the top 10 of the final standings for the first time in school history. And what could be Robert Griffin. ESPN crew. I'm Dave Pash. Good night from San Antonio and the Bolero Alamo Bowl, where Baylor and perhaps Robert Griffin III's final college game beats Washington 67-56. Sports Center, right now.